Dear viewers, continuing our space series where we have covered Mars missions, solar mission and Mercury in the previous episodes, the link of which is given below. Now we will study about the moon. This episode on moon will be covered in two parts. In the first part, we will cover some basic information about the moon and in the second part, we will cover various missions to the moon. Let's begin with a brief introduction about moon. The moon is earth's only natural satellite. This means that the moon revolves around the earth on a regular path. The gravitational attraction between the earth and the natural satellite holds it in its orbit even as the moon revolves around the earth. It is the fifth largest moon in the solar system after Ganymede, Titan, Callisto and Io. The moon's presence helps stabilize our planet's wobble and moderate our climate. Earth's only natural satellite is simply called the moon because people didn't know other moons existed until Galileo Galilei discovered four moons orbiting Jupiter in 1610. Now we will cover some basic features of moon, starting with the size and distance. With a radius of about 1740 kilometers, the moon is less than a third of the width of earth. If earth were the size of a nickel, the moon would be about as big as coffee bean. The moon is an average of 384,400 kilometers away. The moon is slowly moving away from earth, getting about an inch farther away each year. Orbit and Rotation the moon is rotating at the same rate that it revolves around earth, called synchronous rotation. So the same hemisphere faces earth all the time. As the moon orbits earth, different parts are in sunlight or darkness at different times. The changing illumination is why, from our perspective, the moon goes through phases. The moon makes a complete orbit around earth in 27 earth's days and rotates or spins at the same rate or in the same amount of time. Because Earth is moving as well, rotating on its axis as it orbits the Sun, from our perspective, the Moon appears to orbit us every 29 days. Now we will look into formation of Moon. The leading theory of the Moon's origin is that a Mars-sized body collided with Earth about 4.5 billion years ago. The resulting debris from both Earth and the impactor accumulated to form a natural satellite. The newly formed moon was in a molten state, but within about 100 million years, most of the global magma ocean had crystallized with less dense rocks floating upward and eventually forming the lunar crust. If we talk about its structure, Earth's moon has a core, mantle and crust. The solid iron-rich inner core is 240 km in radius. It is surrounded by a liquid iron shell. The mantle extends from the top of the partially molten layer to the bottom of the moon's crust. The crust has a thickness of about 70 km on the moon's near side hemisphere and 150 km on the far side. Long ago, the moon had active volcanoes but today they are all dormant and have not erupted for millions of years. Coming to the surface of Moon A steady rain of asteroids, meteoroids and comets strike the surface of Moon, leaving numerous craters behind. The light areas of the Moon are known as the highlands. The dark features called Maria are impact basins that were filled with lava between 4.2 and 1.2 billion years ago. These light and dark areas represent rocks of different composition and ages which provide evidence for how the early crust may have been crystallized from a lunar magma ocean. The craters themselves which have been preserved for billions of years provide an impact history for the moon and other bodies in the inner solar system. Temperature the temperature on the moon reaches about 127 degrees Celsius when in full sun, but in darkness, the temperatures plummet to about minus 173 degrees Celsius. 
एटमोसफेयर मून हैज अ वेरी थिन एंड वीक एटमोसफेयर कॉल्ड एन एग्जोसफेयर इट डज नॉट प्रोवाइड एनी प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम द सन्स रेडिएशन और इम्पैक्ट फ्रॉम द मेटेरॉइड मून हैज वंस पोजेस्ट अ रिलेटिवली थिक एटमोसफेयर फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ सेवेंटी मिलियन ईयर्स बिटवीन थ्री एंड फोर बिलियन ईयर्स अगो इट वॉज इवेंचुअली स्ट्रिप्ड अवे बाय सोलर विंस एंड डिसिपेटेड इन टू स्पेस मैग्नेटोस्फेयर द अर्ली मून मे हैव डेवलप्ड एन इंटरनल डायनेमो द मैकेनिज्म फॉर जनरेटिंग ग्लोबल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड्स फॉर टेरिस्ट्रियल प्लानट्स बट टूडे द मून हैज अ वेरी वीक मैग्नेटिक फील्ड The magnetic field here on earth is many thousands of times stronger than the moon's magnetic field. And lastly, we will talk about rings. The moon has no rings. A ring system is a disk or ring orbiting an astronomical object that is composed of solid material such as dust and moonlets. Next topic of our discussion is earth-moon relation. Moon makes Earth a more livable planet by moderating our home planet's wobble on its axis leading to a relatively stable climate. It also causes tides creating a rhythm that has guided humans for thousands of years. We will now discuss tidal effects in detail. The gravitational attraction that masses have for one another decreases inversely with the square of distance of those masses from each other. As a result, the slightly greater attraction that the moon has for the side of earth closest to the moon as compared to the part of the earth opposite to the moon results in tidal forces. The most obvious effect of tidal forces is to cause two bulges in the earth's ocean, one on the side of facing the moon and the other on the opposite side. This results in elevated sea levels called ocean tides. Now we will see different lunar phases and eclipses. The moonlight we see on Earth is sunlight reflected off the moon's grayish white surface. The amount of moon we see changes over the month. Lunar phases because the moon orbits Earth and Earth orbits the sun. During a full moon, the hemisphere of the moon we can see from Earth is fully illuminated by the sun. and a new moon occurs when the far side of the moon has full sunlight and the side facing us is having its night the rest of the month we see parts of the daytime side of the moon or phases these eight phases are in order new moon waxing crescent first quarter waxing gibbous full moon waning gibbous third quarter and waning crescent The cycle repeats once a month precisely every 29.5 days. During a lunar eclipse, Earth comes between the sun and the moon, blocking the sunlight falling on the moon. Earth's shadow covers all or part of the lunar surface. There are two kinds of lunar eclipses. A total lunar eclipse which occurs when the moon and sun are on opposite sides of Earth. and a partial lunar eclipse which happens when only part of earth's shadow covers the moon we will end our discussion with a discussion on water on the moon during the initial exploration of the moon and the analysis of all returned samples from the apollo and luna mission it was thought that the surface of the moon was dry the first definitive discovery of water was made in 2008 by the indian mission chandrayaan 1 which detected hydroxyl molecules spread across the lunar surface and concentrated at the poles missions such as lunar prospector and lunar reconnaissance orbiter have not only shown that the surface of moon has global hydration but there are actually high concentration of ice water in the permanently shadowed regions of the lunar poles Scientists have discovered that water is being released from the moon during meteor showers. Scientists also found the lunar surface releases its water when the moon is bombarded by micrometeoroids. Micrometeoroids are very small pieces of rocks 
or metal broken off from large chunk of rock and debris often dating back to the birth of the solar system. In October 2020, NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy confirmed for the first time water on the sunlit surface of the moon. This discovery indicates that water may be distributed across the lunar surface and not limited to cold shadowed places. Sophia detected water molecules in Clavius crater, one of the largest craters visible from Earth, located in moon's southern hemisphere. With the aim of colonizing the moon and searching for life on the moon, various space agencies had and have been sending missions to the moon. Therefore, in the next part, we will study in detail about various important missions that have been sent to the moon and some upcoming missions. That's all for today. Stay tuned for the next video. Stay home, stay safe. To watch our videos in Hindi, subscribe to our Hindi YouTube channel Drishti IAS.